welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, damsels and dingbats, to another episode of Terra Tech. Uh, last time we played, I stated that I was going to do uh, quite a bit of gaming off a of camera to get us some new blocks to play around with. And in the process, I decided I wanted to find a better place to, to set up camp. Uh, that forested biome that we were in was a little bit crowded. It was very uneven. So I went ahead and packed up shop. I did what I said I was going to do and got quite a few new blocks. And I moved out to this uh, salt flat biome, which is going to make it a lot easier for us to build our base, to expand, and, and whatnot. And we are reasonably close. As you can see over there, there's a forest biome. And it, it continues up over that. There's actually an ice biome, a little bit of an ice biome up in there. And then off in yon direction is a, uh, like a, a mountains region. So uh, I managed to find a station, a uh, supply station here on the flats where I can, uh, the only reason I really need this, uh, once we get our base all built up, all we're really going to need this for is missions getting our missions but it's also going to be convenient because you know i have access to a shop uh where i can you know every morning it restocks with stuff so if i can't build it for whatever reason for myself there's a chance i'll be able to buy it now the first thing i'm noticing excuse me is that we have some uh enemy techs kind of building up around us and here before too much longer, it wouldn't surprise me if they, they kind of home in on us and, and move in and start attacking. So I want to build a defensive structure around this little base. Now what I have here is just a basic collection selling base. We're, we're going to collect the materials here. They're going to get funneled in to these three uh, delivery systems. I'm going to have my fuel come over this way so that uh, I can generate my own power. Uh, I'm going to have my unprocessed blocks come into these two uh, foundries, so that a uh, refinery, so that they can be processed and sold for more than the base materials. And then any parts that I pick up are going to get transferred down this way and sold. Uh, that way we're not getting... Because the refined products and the parts will not go through a refinery. So, got a little storage area here to collect wood and other burnable materials for our anchored furnace generator. Which is going to generate power for our defense systems once we have them up. But what I want to do right now, as the game is currently running while I'm talking, and thus presenting the possibility of getting attacked, I want to go ahead and begin by building a wall. Now, I think that would be good to do. So I'm going to go ahead and build a space because the the defensive wall is going to be separate from um, the rest of this. I want the base to be able to... Actually, I, I could leave it all attached, but the problem with that is that... Uh, as you can see, building off the base, there's going to be there's going to be a bit of a gap down here, all the way around, and I don't want that. So I'm going to that's why I'm going to make the base separate. So what I've got here is a, this is a spacer block. Uh, I want the wall off my base just a little bit. So I got that block down here, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to find uh, my anchor blocks, which I believe. Uh, where's my anchors? Uh, right here, Geocore fixed anchor. So we'll add one of these to the inside, like that. And then that's going to anchor this tech, so that when I pull this block away, well, that other one should have stayed, but it didn't. So, but But we can anchor off of it now. So you see... These are not are not attached to one another, so I still have that annoying uh, gap there, and I don't like that. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to get rid of this. I'm going to set this up here on my vehicle for now. We'll move this over here because I want this block. Well, that's not going to work either. Uh, I need these blocks to set on their own 
on flat on the ground. That's that's what my goal is. I want it flat on the ground. Um, so let me get this block, and I want to set it right here. And then we're going to take the anchor. Nope, not going to work. All right, so it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a gap up off uh, anyway. So we might as well just build it off the station or off the uh, base, maybe. Come on. Okay, it does not want to build off the station or off the base. So we're going to go ahead and build it here. And I only need one anchor, but the problem with that is if uh, that anchor gets destroyed, everything that's attached to it, the entire wall will fall. So I'm going to want a couple anchors to keep this whole contraption stable. So I think I'll put one on each side. And uh, I don't want to get any closer, really. I don't want to aggro those bots, but I need to move my vehicle a little closer so that I can actually pan the camera close. Um, we'll build that like that, and then we'll bring it down. This is going to be uh, the wall that I put my weapons on, maybe. Why isn't it? There we go. We'll bring this straight down like this. I need to move this piece here out of my way. That'll suffice. I'm rotate my camera around a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and build this wall. I'm going to cover three of four sides. And, and, and the reason I'm not going to do all four sides is because over there where my collector plate is, my collector plates, uh, I, I need to be able to get my vehicle in there um, when I'm delivering resources. So we need to get this block right. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm having some problems here. We're going to go ahead and get a cab, the control blocks. And I have one GSO anchored AI module. And I have a Gruntle AI module. Um, makes building turrets even easier. It will rotate a full 360 degrees and shoot at any enemy text that can they can spot. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put that cab right here. Now, I can remove this cab later, and my wall will remain. It's not like a vehicle, and the reason for that is because of this anchor. If this anchor wasn't here, and I removed this cab, it would act just like a vehicle, and it would uh, fall apart. So, actually, I do need to stick a cab on there, too. And the only reason I'm doing this is so that... I'll show you here. Now, I'm focused on this, which it, it thinks this is a vehicle because I put a cab on it. So now I'm focused on this vehicle as opposed to this one. So now I can rotate my camera around a little bit better and, and get in here and, and get these bricks down uh, a little more conveniently. So let me go ahead and I'm going to place this one here. We're going to go to... And then let's put in another anchor. Again, because if you just have the one anchor and for some reason it gets destroyed, this whole contraption is just going to fall apart. So we're going to put an anchor there. And I want an anchor over here on the other side as well. So we'll put that anchor right like so. And then we can build the rest of the blocks. And uh, if something shows up and it's able to take out all three anchors, then I got bigger problems. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and go like so. And two on this side. One. Come on. 
Almost got it. Two. All right. So that's our basic wall. Now, what I would like to do is I've got, I, again, I don't like that gap in the bottom. Uh, if I have enough guns up there, they can shoot anything trying to get in. But if it's a small, fast vehicle, I don't want them being able to get in at all. So I think... Nope. I was hoping that I could just put these up and, and around it, but that's not going to work. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so we've got our basic wall. Now I want what I want to do is I want to... I need batteries. In order to... I'm going to put uh, all kinds of stuff on these walls like guns and shield generators and stuff like that. But I'm going to need batteries to do that. Uh, to charge those things. So we're going to put some batteries in. I want them kind of in the center because this is the same situation as a vehicle. These batteries get hit. They're going to blow up. So I want them kind of as close to the center of my base as I can get them so that if I do come under attack, uh, they've got a little bit of protection. So I'm just going to run my batteries like this. Come on. I want you up here like that. There you go. And we'll put one there. And we'll put one here. Now, the furnace generator, once I have fuel blocks in here, it'll consume the fuel blocks and it'll generate power during the night when the solar uh, panels won't. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put some of those in here as well so that we can get some uh, power during the day. Uh, can I get my camera in a little bit better here? There we go. All right, now, I, I probably don't need these many, but I'm putting them in anyway. Okay, so now we have a source of power coming in day and night, once I get the blocks, of course. And uh, that's going to power all of the stuff that I put on the wall. Now, the repair bubbles, I think it's, we can put a couple of repair bubbles up. And that will, if, if our walls are attacked but not destroyed, or the guns, you know, if we take any damage, these repair bubbles should uh, help mitigate and repair that said damage. So I don't want... Uh, the more I put in, the more power it's going to require. But at the same time, if I'm going to put them in at all... You know, I might as well put in enough to do the job. And I suspect with the size of some of these techs that we have showing up around us that, uh, you know, if they attack, when they attack, they're going to be doing a significant amount of damage. So now I'm going to put in the, sh the bubble protectors. These are the actual shields that absorb damage as they're being taken. The repair bubbles simply uh, fix any damage that's taken. So they got to get through these shield bubbles first. And I believe that these are going to be close enough to overlap, but uh, we won't know until we actually get some power going into them. And um, we can see how, how the fields overlap. Okay, so that's good for now. Uh, I want these GSO wireless chargers are actually really good because when I have a vehicle, we're going to build a vehicle later uh that needs these batteries. You know, if I want shields on my vehicle, they need batteries. And unless I want to carry a solar panel or something around with me, the best way to get power is to hook up these wireless chargers. And then while I'm pulled up and unloading, they'll be drawing power from the station and wirelessly transmitting and recharging my batteries. So those are going to be good to have. Now, um, weapons. This AI here should press I for information. Uh, the GSO anchored AI module makes building through. Okay. So last time we made, last episode we made a station, but it wasn't firing. And uh, I didn't know why. It seems that this was why. I did not have an AI, uh, the proper AI up here. So now that I've got an AI, uh, I should be able to 
walk away, and the station should be able to defend itself under the control of that AI. And if that AI gets destroyed, of course, the weapons stop firing. And, and that means I should probably actually invest in uh, a little bit of armor, so to speak, for it. Now, I'm, the reason I'm putting these guns down like this is because I think they rotate. I'm pretty sure that they will... It doesn't matter what their initial orientation is. They will automatically orient and rotate to target, you know, whatever's closest. So I'm going to put up a bunch of these. Just like so. And I, I want all the way around. I should have enough. And then I've actually got a couple really big guns... And actually, I think what I'll do, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, is I will take these off of my anchors. Maybe. Can I have it? Please? Thank you. And the reason why I'm not going to put anything on my anchors is because I've actually got much, much larger versions of these that take up a larger space, and I think I'm going to use those um, in in place of these little ones. Okay, so yes, I have six of these megaton cannons. Now look at these beasts; they're four times the size. Okay, and then we'll put one. Over here. Come on. Come on. One more. There you go. Okay, so I've got good defenses around these three sides. I don't have a lot coming from the other direction. But I'm, I'm hoping nothing will really spawn over there. If they do, actually I could probably build something over there as a defense. But I'm not done over here yet. Um, I'm going to put in... More long-ranged defenses here. These do... It, th these are important to position properly, so... I'm going to go ahead and drop some of these in. Just like so. And then I will... Rotate. Is that right? Nope, that's not. I need to rotate it like thus okay it still doesn't why does it not look right F F F F okay that's right sometimes it's hard to tell okay and then I got one more walls worth over here this thing's got so many freaking guns it's nuts I feel I feel pity for anything that tries to come through here, and that unless I'm mistaken about how the AI works. If my AI doesn't work, then this is all pointless. This is not going to fire on its own. But we will find out here at the end of the episode. I'll go over and see if I can't lure one of these guys in towards the base and see what it does. Okay, so we've got our armaments. Now we want a little bit of armor, because if you shoot this block, all these weapons on the block are gone. And we do actually have some armored plated blocks right here. They're small shock plating. They actually uh, are quite nice for, um, we, well, literally, they're shields. So we're going to go ahead and throw these up. Gives it a little bit of extra defense. And the more defense we have, the longer we last. The longer we last, the, the longer we have to shoot back and potentially destroy the target. This is in addition, of course, to the shields and the repair modules. Now the sun's coming back up. So here pretty soon my solar panels ought to unfold. And they'll start charging the batteries. Once the batteries have enough charge, they'll start feeding to the 
repair modules and the shield modules. Then our defenses will be up, and uh, that should be good. Now, I left enough room in here to play around with some other things in the base at a later date, such as the fabricators and stuff like that. Right now, this is a load up my harvest, pull in, drop it off, and get as much profit as possible. Now, you see, I've been doing that for a while. I've got a good amount of money here. Um... But I, I want that reestablished so that I can, you know, the more money I spend, the more blocks I lose, uh, the, the money's going to go away pretty quick. So I, I want to reestablish my income here. Now, something else I can do. Um, I want to put in some magnets. Now, the reason I want magnets, I'm going to save these magnets for my vehicle, but I believe... I have some GSO magnets, these here, block magnets. If I put them in here, you see that blue circle? Anything within this blue circle, parts-wise, will get drawn to the magnet, uh, like you saw on my vehicle. Uh, that's so that if... Uh, well, like I said, you, you saw how it works. It, it allows you to collect up Parts. If this base get, falls under attack and it manages to defend, uh, it, no, it will now have the ability to harvest or draw in any parts nearby. Yeah, so if anything dies immediately in this area, now I would like to actually pull those out further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, I think I can take anchors, regular old anchors, and we'll put them out about here. We'll put one um, here, and then we'll put another one here. Now we'll put those magnets on those anchors. One. That, that brings our uh, our area that we can uh, harvest from out a little bit further from the walls. Because anything with any kind of decent ranged weaponry is going to be attacking me further out. It's not going to be right up here on my walls. Okay, so those magnets, I can actually probably put these out just a little further. So let's bring this out to about here. And then you go here. This one will go here. And now these should be close enough. I, and I can put a couple guns on these too, but they're not going not gonna to fire back like the like you'd expect them to, because you know, I don't have any more of those AIs. If I put an, an AI on each of these, I can turn them into a turret, and they'll fire back. But for now, they're just going to serve the function. Anything that gets destroyed in this area is going to get drawn in. Hopefully, the AI is not smart enough to destroy those first. So now that we have those, we're going to come down here to these storage devices, and we're going to put the storage devices in here I want them kinda in between the wall or maybe at the base of the wall like here here and here now what the plan with this is I'm gonna get rid of this one I'm gonna want one to put on my vehicle for my harvesting anyway uh, anything that the walls kill, the parts will get stuck to these, and then these will draw the parts off of the magnets and into my inventory. That way, the base will be basically harvesting anything that attacks it. At least that's the plan. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work or if I've got things out too far. Uh, I do want to find some more AIs so that I can at least put guns on these so they can defend themselves as well. 
but for now, this is what we have. So my solar panels are open. Now the reason why these are not, uh, the batteries are powered up, but the, the wall's not charging. And uh, the reason for that actually is because these batteries are connected to the base, not the wall. So what I need to do is connect the batteries to the walls and then yeah okay so that's going to be that's going to be challenging because I think the way this is all built I don't think there's any way for me to directly connect everything let me take a look maybe we'll get lucky that would be nice for a change yeah see it's red it's not going to fit in there so, this was a good idea, but problem. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this like so, so, and then I'm going to put another anchor down, that way if... Uh, this wall over here is destroyed. I don't lose these. And the reason I'm doing this, I will show you in just a minute. First of all, I need to get an anchor. An anchor will go right there. So now, the base itself really doesn't need power. Um, what does need power or these defenses. So I'm going to move. Actually, I think the solar panels are fine where they're at. The batteries are not, however, because the batteries. Yeah, see? All right. So we're going to go ahead and pop these batteries here. This is why I built the extra wall, because I don't want them built up along my defensive wall. That way, if the defensive wall gets taken out, the batteries don't immediately get lost. Okay. So, this is looking good. We'll leave a couple batteries for here to store power for, for this at night. Um, the wall's not going to have any power at night, though, because the furnace is not attached to the wall. So... What we need to do is we need to run perhaps another furnace. You know, we can just take this furnace and attach it to this. No. He's like, hell no, I won't go. All right, so that's attached there. But I don't think this is going to run up here. So what I need to do is get another one of these. Uh, maybe we can put this, no. All right, well, we don't need that right now. What we need is another collector. And we'll put it right here. So that when I drive in, nope, that's not going to work either. Okay, see, the problem we have here is we have two two units. This is the way I designed it. We have the outer wall, which can attack and defend. And the reason I did it separately is because I didn't want that rise. But the problem is I still have the rise and now that they're two separate units, I can't, they're not lined up well enough for me to uh, do what I want to do here. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, pause it here real quick. I will go fix everything and then I'll come back and show you uh, how it's set up just before we end the episode here. So I'll be right back.
All right, so we've rebuilt the wall. Um, it was having a little bit of problems with the power supply, so what's going to happen is these batteries in the center are going to be for storage, and these outer batteries are going to be what's powering the repair and shield bubbles. And the weapons, of course, are going to run themselves. Um, I have the anchored AI set to defend, and these wireless generators or these wireless uh, power relays, the chargers, are going to draw power from the central batteries and then charge the wall batteries. And when my vehicle needs it and, and I'm pulled in, it's going to charge those as well. So the base is going to be, of course, powered by this furnace, which is going to burn wood and other flammable blocks And then uh, for, during the night. And then, of course, during the day, I will have my, my solar power. So, I've managed to put together a base that I'm satisfied with. There's enough room on the inside for expansion when I decide to start messing around with fabricating my own parts and whatnot. Uh, it, it is reasonably defendable. Uh, the one thing I am going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and pop over to this... Uh, block this tech which is damaged of course I haven't fixed it yet let's save real fast and then we're going to go going to uh, make sure that the guns are working here so I'm going to drive over here and attract one of these enemy techs and lure it closer to my base and see if the base does in fact defend itself Let's hope so. All right, come on, buddy. You see me. You going to make me shoot at you? All right, I'm shooting at you. All right, come this way. Why is it just sitting there? All right, fella, follow me. Walk this way. All right, he's not shooting at me for some reason. That's weird. Does he not have guns on him? All right, well, we got guns on us. Let's throw that over there. All right, base, you gonna you gonna fire at him? My base is not firing at him. All right, so that's something we're gonna have to look into on the uh, next episode. Figure out why. Uh, it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. 
Uh, for now, let's go ahead and take care of this guy because he, he's bothering me, yo. I'm surprised I'm actually... He didn't have a lot of weapons on him, ironically. Anyway, you can see how the magnets are going to draw with a little bit of assistance. They draw the pieces in, and then they get sucked into my inventory, so... Um, pity that didn't work. I'll have to do a little more research to see what I'm doing wrong. We'll uh, figure it out next episode. Uh, speaking of which, I'm no longer going to be doing TerraTech every week. I will continue playing the game and recording it, and they will continue being posted. But I'm going to make room for uh, other games during the week. But every once in a while, I'm, I may throw one of these up kind of off schedule. So keep your eyes open for that. Until then, we are out of time, and I have to wrap it up. So I have been your host, DM Renavion, and uh, until next time, you guys stay safe and you have fun. I'm out. Stay safe. Have fun. I'm out.